Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Hi, good evening, folks. Welcome back to Concept and welcome back to yet another webinar. So as the name itself, it suggests that we are going to learn about how looking at the derivative data points, we can go ahead and anticipate the bank nifty's expiring much more better. So I have created a dashboard for ourselves in this video, wherein, you know, we have plotted the tools like index contributor, future OIH to give me a fair understanding about how the historical buildups were, open interest and the max gain level. So we are going to all use all these tools for our analysis. So to talk about this analysis, these tools are available on our mobile application as well as our desktop version. To access these on desktop version, web.codesnap.com is the link which we can go through and also we can create the dashboard. So now let's start off with by forming a bias on the index about you know what was moving the bank nifty high today. And we as we all saw key bank nifty witnessed a good momentum, right? Where it outperformed the nifty for uh, you know it outperformed nifty. Now talking about what was driving the index higher and higher, the banking index higher all the index heavyweights. So HDFC bank was showing, you know, a top contribution with 216 points in the up move, followed by Kotak bank, ICICI bank, Axis bank and SBI. So, you know, majority of the stocks in bank Nifty are contributing positively towards the up move, which is an, you know, again, a good sign that specifically I'm, you know, it's very prudent to see that HDFC bank, Kotak bank, ICICI, Axis and SBI, they are contributing positively, which again, gives us a conviction that, okay, the up move is backed up by the heavyweights. Now coming to the historical data, if we have a look on this particular screen, wherein from this day, which is from 21st of December. So yeah, here, here we go. So from 21st of December up till the current day, Bank Nifty has just witnessed one short built up, rest whatever the dips were, like there was only one or two dips in bank nifty but one was due to long unwinding and the other one was due to a short build up which again tells us that the bulls are in charge over here the, it is witnessing a lot of fresh long build up which again is a good sign but you know from this day which is from 30th of december till now which is in last five to uh, four to five trading sessions bank nifty has been dropped at all be it due to long unwinding be it due to short it has not dropped at all which again indicates you know a good strength but we might expect you know bank nifty has rallied from all the way from 35000 till 37770 with not any dip so you know we will not be surprised if we see any sort of profit booking happening over there okay if it doesn't then you know obviously we might see an up move happening but still we shouldn't be surprised if we see any kind of profit booking or a long unwinding happening in this particular scenario or the upcoming tra trading session ahead now talking about the over open interest front, so yeah, uh, just uh, to take you back, the long term net net data looks positive, but as it has rallied, you know, 7,000 points, 7,700 points in last four to five trading sessions that we shouldn't again, not be surprised if we see a temporary halt tomorrow. Okay. Now talking about the open interest front to identify a range. So, you know, this strike, which is 37,500 is acting like my major support because it has witnessed 15 lakhs open interest, 15 lakh put away addition, which is an indication of the support getting intensified at this time. Resistance, it is placed at, you know, 38,000 as we are seeing it from very long. And recently, you know, 37,800, 37,700 has a significant quantum of call writings too. So again, the conclusion is 37,500 would act like my support. An immediate support, by the way, and the resistance stands at 38,000. Where is my major support? So our major support is placed at this strike, which is at the strike of 37,000 over here, which has seen at least an addition of around around 20 lakhs net net in today's day. But yeah, talking about immediate support, 37,500 might act like our immediate support. But yeah, major support, if this is getting broken, this is my major support, 37,000. Where is my hurdle? Hurdle stands at 38,000, which has a significant quantum or I would say the heaviest call return on this strike. So this acts like my resistance. Okay. Just to reiterate wherein the 
ब्रॉडर लेवल्स आर थर्टी एट थाउजेंड से लेकर के थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड तक बट इफ आई नैरो डाउन द रेंज द रेंज इज थर्टी सेवन फाइव हंड्रेड से लेकर के ऑन द अपसाइड अप टिल द लेवल ऑफ थर्टी एट थाउजेंड ओके वेर इज बैंक निफ्टी राइट नाउ थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड सेवन सेवन now talking about when we are trading into expiry days this is something which we should watch out for we took a bias we understood the data very logically very you know in a systematical way now that is the time when we want to go ahead and identify the key expiry level now this option gain is the level where option sellers are making the most money but option buyers are making the more you know make uh, making huge losses at that so gain level is my key expiry level because assuming that sellers having a well approach or i would say well researched approach on the market they are expecting market to expire in this vicinity 37400 ka looking at the current data but look at it on the expiry day look at it at 929 30 tomorrow check out the gain level what is gain in other words it is called as max gain okay check out what the max pain level is markets are likely to you know expire somewhere around that level now there is a small addition and optimization which we can do to the gain now as we understood up till the current discussion that gain is my key expiry level considering the sellers making most money at that point the thing is in the market majority of the times we hear people saying that that max pain data does not work quite good okay because the thing is the market as it shifts this gain level will also keep on shifting so we should observe the shifts and we can we, we should you know act on those shifts so here is how okay let's say the gain level is placed at 37400 okay and market starts to move higher but gain level does not move at all okay indication that they are expecting a kind of pull down approach from there number one number two is let's say markets move higher okay let's say the markets start to go up and gain level also goes up according along with it indication of an bullish shift try to shift your positions to an upper level it is an indication of an upward shift happening in the oi band okay that is the two inferences and third is simple the vice versa of this one market goes down gain level goes down is an indication of there is a negative sentiment happening in the market's mind okay that is how we will play around with the gain level. again to repeat gain level is my key expiry level a you know vital level of the expiry which the markets are thinking now coming to the second thing which is there is an you know uh, in market there is this theory where in market breaks out this gain level everybody starts to go long on this or short on this depending on how it is getting broken but the fact is actually the sellers will not face any panic at this level because they have received the premium and they have benefited from it so equilibrium level in gain tool in concept it shows us a realistic break even point considering the seller premium they have received okay so this is the seller's realistic break even point considering the premiums they have received from this day till the current day okay let's try to go ahead and tighter this range okay let's try to tighten this range a bit let's say i want to check today from 9 or uh, 20 onwards <clears throat> okay so is there any shift first happening in the gain level no eq level is standing at 36860 which means that this is the sellers break even neither call sellers are making money neither put sellers are making money okay now if this level gets broken from the up to the downside a kind of a ideal situation to participate on a short trade because there might be a short covering happening on the put side given that 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 is an expiry day you know there might be some kind of profit booking jiske wajah se there might be a drastic drop from there on because the support will get broken now the key expiry looking at the current data stands at 37400 okay historical data to an extent also told us that in five sessions market has rallied 7700 points okay so again as i said we will not be surprised if we might see a some kind of a dip due to long unwinding okay so we can you know expect an expiry somewhere in the vicinity but although try to look at it tomorrow too now as we have learned to benefit out of you know all these data points let's try to you know benefit ourselves or gift ourselves something 
based on our skills and you know our way of analysis analyzing the market so for that we all we need to do is just go on this link which is concept.com slash bn the link would be also there in the description box okay so this is concepts bank nifty expiry contest wherein you know whenever you anticipate the expiry you will receive maximum up to six months of concepts pro subscription depending upon what is the kind of level you predict in and where the market ended okay so if you see if your prediction is 10 plus or minus points you'll get three months of concepts pro subscription plus five or minus five points six months of concepts pro subscription 15 plus minus points you'll earn one month of concepts pro subscription so all we need to do is just enter predict and enter contest sign in up with your concept account the page will be redirected okay now the the page itself will ask you that what is the kind of level which you want to predict okay so let's say the market is 37770 i am you know gain level place that for 37400 so let's say a realistic approach to it would be 37000 let's say 570 okay so we are not expecting a crash neither we are expecting you know a a very upwards move from here because it has moved already although it can happen but this is looking at the current data points this is what the scenario looks like you can always try to you know look at those data tomorrow in the morning because that's the time when the participants will shift their positions and we will observe we will be able to gauge the expiries much more better okay so looking at those data let's say for an example 37,570. all i need to do is just hit enter contest there might be you know, there will be a tweet which is getting automatically generated. We don't need to do anything. Okay, so this is my prediction. So and so all I need to do is just hit tweet button. Okay, and that's it. I have predicted, uh, you know, I have participated in the contest. So doesn't matter what your analysis method is. You can surely participate in concepts, bank nifty, expiry contest and gift yourself and concepts pro subscription of at least up to six months. Just to summarize what we need to do is first we need to create a bias on the market looking at the historical built ups okay which look you know more in favors of bulls recently but only problem was that the instrument had rallied up a bit so again it does not tell you that it will fall but it also tells us that you know you shouldn't be surprised that you know the if the instrument drops then coming to the second scenario we can always try to you know do that analysis a bit smaller by looking at the ranges over here based on participants data based on the open interest data it will give us a fair idea about a range what the participants the markets are expecting okay so 37500 is the immediate support 38000 is the hurdle major support stands at 37000 then always look at the gain data what is gain option sellers maximum profit level okay that if bank nifty expires at this level option sellers will be at most profit so they if they are having a well researched approach on the market they are you know expecting the expiry in the vicinity but again as i said always observe the shift because this level is not static level it will keep on shifting observe the shift and act accordingly if markets move higher accompanied with you know the gain level going higher then indication of an upwards move vice versa and if it does not move at all indication wherever the market has moved it might end up in the vicinity. What is EQ level? Sellers realistic break even considering the premiums they have received. If this level gets broken on the downside, the put writers will start panic and they, due to a short covering, the support might get broken. So I would say, yeah, do participate in Bank Nifty's uh, weekly expiry contest. Also, you can let me know now in the comment section below what is your predicted level of Bank Nifty's expiry for tomorrow. Apart from that, Thank you so much. Stay tuned along with us. Do with the subscribe button, do with the bell icon. So whenever we post a video or we are live on webinar, you will be the first to receive the notification. Thank you.